Hello and welcome to the podcast. I'm Risa. I'm Ariana. And we're the Curlmeister Sisters. As a reminder, this podcast is ready tea for teen for strong language and mature themes. If that is not something you're looking for, um, then I I really don't know how you got here in the first place. Um, but you're, you're free to go over to, let's see, Tammy Talkie's podcast, Unlocked, or uh, a little Jackalope's uh, podcast. Um, not a podcast. Uh, thing, her video thing. <laughs> YouTube. Story untold. No. Nope. Retold. Fuck. <laughs> 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 I got it right last time. <laughs> yeah, so what are we going to talk about today, sister? Uh, Today? Shit, what are we going to talk about? Oh, right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to do a, a, a bracket because we know how much you guys love those. And uh, this bracket is of best subplots from yeah. games. Yeah. So, we're going to start. Remember, because of how many games there are, we have to have a qualifier. Yeah. So, Legend of the Crystal Skull versus Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. Um, I would say the Legend of the Crystal Skull stuff is, the subplot is Henry getting all of the stuff together from... Like, mm-hmm. all the eyeballs and stuff. Um, how we basically do what he's supposed to do. That that doesn't feel like the main plot. That's the, su- that's the subplot. The main plot is who the f- who murdered Dr. Bolet. Right, but, I mean, I feel like solving his will is, is in tandem. I would say that that's a subplot because it's... Okay, fine, I guess. Versus the, I would say, the historic subplot in Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. Um, who? Mm. I like that one better. I mean, I like that one, but I also like all of the puzzles that go along with the subplot for Legend of the Crystal Skull. That's really fun. But then also... I do love the history part of... Fuck, this is a... Why did you do this one? Why is this our first one? Fuck this. I'm sorry. I randomized the seeds. Jesus. Um... I guess... uh, Do you still say train? Yes. Then I guess I'll go with train. Okay. Okay, now, train versus dog. We're just going to refer to them by their uh, <laughs> acronyms right now because it means that we can't fuck them up as much. Yeah. Uh, remember that last train to Blue Moon Canyon we went on? <laughs> yeah. Versus like the Mickey Malone stuff. Right. Um, I like the last train to Blue Moon Canyon. I like, le- yeah, it's it's just, just slightly more fleshed out. So like that makes it better. <laughs> Yeah. Although, kudos to the creative ways to get around saying um, anything about alcohol. Yeah. When having something be about prohibition. Yeah. <laughs> um, Secret of the Scarlet Hand versus Midnight in Salem. Secret of the Scarlet Hand, the subplot, I guess, would be... Getting the... the, the so, I'd say the, the, the main, main plot, plot is... is figuring out who stole the Pakal. The yeah. subplot is trying to get into the um, whispering whatever yeah. that place. That that monolith thing. Yeah. Um, and finding the Book of Apologies is the subplot in The Night in Salem. I don't... I, uh, I don't like... I really I, don't like that I one. I don't like, like it. <laughs> Sicker the Scarlet Hand wins here. It really does. Like, so... <laughs> Ah. Okay, Haunted Carousel versus Ransom of the Seven Ships. Um, Ransom of the Seven Ships is really weird because I feel like the subplot is her finding the treasure, even though that's kind of the main plot. But the main that is a plot that's happening because of the main plot, which is yeah. find Bess. You're you're trying to find Bess, and the way that you can do that is by working with the kidnapper in and looking for. 
the gold. Yeah. And, um, um, however, I mean, I think that they try to make, sorry, an additional subplot be like, who, who, who is this guy? This, yeah. the, and, and, and it's like, this is stupid and I hate you. Yeah. The good news <laughs> is that the other one is the subplot in Haunted Carousel, which is Miles' magnificent memory machine. I kind which of is, love that. That's amazing. It, that just, that wins there. No contest. Yeah. Okay. Um, stay tuned for Danger versus uh, Shattered Medallion. I don't know what the subplots on that, either of those are. Um, I don't know about any subplots for Stay Tuned for Danger because that's all one. That's one somewhat cohesive uh, story. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Everything is is in service of finding out who's yeah. sending the threats. Yeah. And bombs Whereas and shit. Shattered Medallion definitely has one, which is the trying to solve stuff for Sunny's grandma, grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> which I think which, is a fantastic subplot. Absolutely. So I think that's and, just... and that's definitely going to win, but I I honestly huh, like they trick us going in making us think that the game show is the main plot, but mm-hmm. it that's actually the subplot that just uh helps to further the main plot which is Sunny's thing. So regardless, that's that that game wins. That game definitely wins. it's a it's a good honestly, I Fucking love Shattered Medallion at this point. I love Shattered Medallion. I unpopular opinion from the Chromaster not... sisters, but it's just it is not good, no. but it is so enjoyable. It is exactly <laughs> okay. Um, Curse of Blackmore Manor versus Phantom of Venice. So Curse mm-hmm. of Blackmore Manor, I guess, is the subplot is the entire like legacy. Yeah, because our main plot is trying to figure out what's going on with Linda. Yeah. And it turns mm-hmm. out that there is a secret society within this family. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I guess ridiculous. the subplot in Phantom of Venice is getting is is getting poisoned sausages. Yeah, I don't I don't know what it is. I, I <laughs> That's regardless the I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the fucking weird secret society <laughs> within a single family which involves another family basically worshipping them and this is bizarre. <laughs> okay. Um Captive Curse versus Labyrinth of Lies. I Labyrinth of Lies is really weird because <sighs> It's... I don't know what the plot is for <laughs> yeah, Labyrinth of Lies. Pretty much. <laughs> because it's like, why are we here? <laughs> uh, I don't I don't understand our purpose. I <laughs> I feel so lost. Labyrinth of Lies is a beautiful game. It is beautiful. But it makes absolutely zero sense. And so I don't there's just yeah. so much there. My suspension of disbelief is broken. I can't. I can't do it. Um, uh, but in Captive Curse, I think it's the Renata stuff with her sister. I think yeah. that's the subplot, and I think that's way better. Yeah, it really is. It's really sad. A lot of the implications in it, and it tugs at my heart. And yeah. I love Renata. Yeah, and it's a sister thing. We're, yeah. we're suckers for sister things. We're suckers for that, yeah. <laughs> um, Treasure Royal Tower versus Warnings at Waverly Academy. So the subplot in Treasure Royal Tower is the weird Dexter stuff. Yeah. About how he had a strange, abusive yeah. uh, father who yeah. literally tallied his son's um, good and bad achievements. Yeah. No, th- like, that's bonkers Whereas, i hate that one Warnings of Waverly academy i is the subplot rachel and is two people or is the subplot um, like the cheating stuff like the plagiarism stuff, that's all technically there are a couple of subplots those are all and i that's a lot of I, subplots in that game honestly that's like that's it, it, it while the girls aren't entirely fleshed out, they do each have a purpose in the story, and they each have their own sort of, like, little bit that they add. So I love that. Yeah, I think. Definitely. Okay, Ghost of Thornton Hall versus Ice. Okay, um, 
goes to Thornton Hall. We're there to solve the mystery of where Jess is. That's the main plot, right? right? And then yeah. the subplot is all the Charlotte stuff. Yeah, I guess it is. It's it's uh, unsaid is trying to find out how Charlotte was murdered, but all told, it's it is finding out about the fucking dark shit that is in this family's closet. They got yeah. skeletons, baby. Yeah, like and White Wolf of Icicle Creek is it's all it's, the the yeah it's so the thing we are. We're brought there to find out why um, all these these things keep happening. There's obviously sabotage going on yeah. at the... So the subplot then is um, what leads us to figuring that out, which is finding out what is special about the area. Yeah, the Trapper and Dan so stuff. And so we learn all the Trapper Dan stuff. We, we, we learn, uh, you know, ISIS and... and yeah. Yeah, um, that's pretty good. Um, shit. But I'm I gonna have Thornton to Hall. say Ghost of Thornton Hall yeah. because Jesus Christ. That is a, a morbid fucking it's good. lovely game. I love that game. <laughs> um, Trail of the Twister versus Creature of Kapu Cave. <laughs> I mean, uh, Trail of the Twister, um, it sort of has the subplot of I mean, it's all kind of the main plot because we're there trying to figure out who's sabotaging. It yeah. is uh, very much Scott, but it, they're also um, there's the shit going gaslighting down, like, him yeah. with and with like sh- sh- um, Frosty. I almost called him Shorty. Frosty, <laughs> um, Frosty, and, uh, uh, and Debbie, Debbie. Thank and you. And selling the footage and stuff. Mm-hmm. That's kind of, that's all fucked up. I don't like There's, that. Yeah. Um, no. Creature of Kapu Cave. The subplot is. I, Why are there bugs here? Yeah. <laughs> We're on the verge of a breakthrough that we don't understand the implications of. Yeah. <laughs> I. <laughs> what kind of ecological damage did they like? Did that. <laughs> Uh, cause <laughs> like he just released a bunch of <laughs> non-native insects basically and created a population boom what's that so gonna which, do to the which, local ecosystem like hawaii famously gets taken over by invasive species <laughs> oh my god like all the goddamn cats yeah sorry uh um um, so I'm going to go with a, a Creature of Kapu Cave, because I, I'm not fully sure I understand a lot of parts of Trail of the Twister. Like, I just don't like the fact that we get gaslit. <laughs> mm-hmm. <sighs> okay, Message in a Haunted Mansion versus Secrets Can Kill. Um, um, Message in a Haunted Mansion, it's the Valdez stuff, right? Mm-hmm, right. Um, secrets could kill. I guess that, like, the main plot is finding out who killed Jake Rogers. And then in all of, in that, we learn all of the subplots with, um, the Yeah, whole... sort of try, trying to find out why yeah. he was getting all the information he was getting and, yeah. like, who he was selling it to. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. So which one? Um, I'm gonna go with Message in a Haunted Mansion simply because I You're a slut for historical bits. I'm a slut for historical bits. <laughs> um Haunting of Castle Malloy versus Tomb of the Lost Queen. Tomb of the Lost Queen 100 percent because the subplot in Haunting of Castle Malloy is like depressing and not in a feel-good way you know what i mean sometimes depressing things help you like purge but a haunting of castle malloy just hurts more (sighs) it's not a there's no catharsis yeah and and it's uh, this girl whose life was ruined because her father worked with nazis yeah like the unspoken truth in that one is is not 
one you should avoid. Yeah. <laughs> so, Tomb of the Lost Queen. Just Tomb of the Lost yeah. Queen. It's the daughters of Nefertari yeah. or something. Yeah, it's the whole Jamila thing, so... The whole, yeah, the whole Jamila thing and, and then her connection with Spide, regardless. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> um, final scene versus Shadow Ranch. Okay. Final scene that the subplot being finding Houdini's, like, what, what, it, that's the, we're trying to find Maya. We're trying, uh, yeah, we're trying to find Maya as our primary goal. Our secondary goal ends up being sort of saving the theater. Uh, theater. And to save the theater, he, she needs to find, she needs the to be deed. on the lookout for the deed. She doesn't quite know that that's what she's doing, but she's finding all these things in her search for Maya. So, yeah. Um, and the subplot for Shadow Ranch. I think Mary the whole, Yazi and Tex, oh. or uh, talking about uh, Francis and Dirk. See, yeah, I guess Francis and Dirk, because while it does end up being what all of the stuff is about, it's not what we're looking into. Okay, so which do we... <laughs> For f- what do we want? Um, Shadow final, scene. Final, final scene. I think really? final scene. Yeah, okay. just I, the- like I do love. I do. You know that subplot makes me cry in Shadow yeah. Ranch. But that being said, I I feel like it's a more um a more indirect. I don't know. It it the the final scene one is is a very. It's one of the most Nancy Drew of the games. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Alibi and Ashes versus Shadow at the Water's Edge. I mean, no matter what, it's going to be Shadow at the Water's Edge. But what is the subplot in Alibi and Ashes? Um, all the like. I guess the main plot is trying to figure out who set the fire. So the subplot, are we like at all trying to? What? What's up? No, I'm just. Oh, I don't know if there is a subplot. I don't. I don't understand I mean, that we're game. Trying to clear and it doesn't, Nancy's doesn't name. Doesn't even matter because it's not going to be as good as Shadow the Water's matter. Edge. Yeah, Shadow the Water's Edge um, is heartbreaking. Yeah. in a, a very good affecting way. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Sea of Darkness versus Secret of the Old Clock. So, Sea of Darkness is confusing to me. The main it, goal. Bit. Is to find Magnus. But Mm -hmm. is that really, like, the plot? Uh, (laughs) I just feel like... I honestly forget at a certain (laughs) point that that's what we're doing. It's like, oh, we're looking into Lisbeth's uh, fucking family. I get it. I know what we're doing here. Yeah. We have to fucking solve the boat puzzle. That's that's what we gotta do. Um, whereas Secret of the Old Clock is the entire subplot is the fucking Will situation, which is fantastic to me. That is great. As much as I don't like that game, I do love the individual plots pretty, pretty. I, I, do, yeah. I love a good Will plot. I, I love it. Uh, so that being said, as much as I do love Sea of Darkness, uh, I'm going to go with Secret of the Old Clock. Yeah. It's, it's a, it's superior. Danger on Deception Island versus Deadly Device. So Deception Island is um, the Hilda, the Hilda stuff? stuff. No. Well, I mean, okay, the she's trying Katie to get us feeding the Orca subplot. Shit. Um. Me- I don't know. I'm trying to go through that wrap up, and it's like there's no. I mean, we we were we start out trying to figure out who wrecked uh, Katie's boat, yes. and that is our main thing, and that ends up taking us into um, both um, a subplot of of things being stolen, as well as a subplot of there being a whale that everybody is. So that one has two subplots, I guess. Yeah. That just sort of happened to intermingle. Yeah. And then uh, Deadly Device subplot, 
I uh, I don't know. I I guess it's the technical corporate espionage with uh Mason and and No, Ellie. because that's made up. That that's it, falsified evidence. Victor oh. planted it. I know. It's so oh, hard right. to I hate I, that game. Yeah. I'm going to go with Danger on Deception Island. You're just like, no, the more I've played Deadly Device, the less <laughs> I've liked it. Right. Okay, Silent Spy versus Danger by Design. Okay, Silent Spy is the whole mom stuff. Mm-hmm. Right? Because I mean, the I feel main like we're- plot is we're being brought there to help against fucking hell they I have mean, to help again it's the fucking uh, terrorist organization i hate and then danger <laughs> by design it's this... uh, what um uh, which what's the subplot there because or is it just finding it's the, the noisette the, stuff um, it's yeah finding the, yeah. the the nazi stashes um i i guess uh, I'm gonna go with Silent Spy. Sure, why the fuck not? That's fine. I don't. I don't want either of those, honestly. <laughs> well, good news. It, they can lose. Okay, yeah. next round. Jesus Christ, let's keep going. Yeah. Last train versus Secret of the Scarlet Hand. Um. I'm going to go Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon because I really don't approve of a lot of the sec- the, the subplot for Secret of the Scarlet Hand. Yes. Um, Haunted Carousel versus Shattered Medallion. Haunted Carousel. Miles' the Magnificent Memory Machine. Uh, yeah, but Joy. Yeah, but... <laughs> Miles' Magnificent Memory Machine. I guess at least it has a subplot and yeah. not really sure what Shattered Medallion. <laughs> yeah, so. Car. <laughs> um, Kerr versus Cap. Um, That's rough. Huh. Um, I think Cap. Because that one is sad and I- heartbreaking, but in... A cathartic way because yeah we're not as able to let go yeah. of, of yeah it, like her this is resolved for her and i you know which is distressing because it's not yeah but, but she's able to let it go yeah and so that's good that's good i think yeah, yeah. as opposed to um a family worshipping themselves, which that's just that's just rich people in, in the British Isles, guys. <laughs> okay, um Whack versus Thorn Hall. Um oh god, it goes Thorn Hall, absolutely. Okay. Cree versus Haunted Mansion. Um Haunted Mansion. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I have to think about it again. Tomb versus Finn. Um, you know, I, I'm gonna have to. I, I, I love a good saving the theater. Yeah. I'll also, just you gotta love that it takes you through all those fucking like crazy trap door areas. It's so cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, Saw versus Clock. The Wills. Wow, Battle of the Wills. Battle of the Wills. <laughs> that being said, Saw. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm I, going to have to go with that because it's, it's I feel, better thought out. Yeah. Um, Clock kind of relies on um, a man not realizing that someone he sees frequently is just <laughs> in drag in front of him. I don't know why he doesn't... Yeah. Um, Deception Island versus Spy. Deception Island? Yeah, I'm going to go Deception Island just because I enjoy it more. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Next round. 
Okay. Train versus car. <laughs> train car! <laughs> um, I, you know, um, simply because it is better fleshed out, I'm going to have to go with, um, train. Sorry. <laughs> 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 you're, um, you're car's good, but it could. Ha- I was, yeah. Uh, car's good, but it could have gone farther. It could have been historical. <laughs> it, it could have been. It had the makings to be. There's a whole point of it being old fucking carousel horses. But what the fuck ever, man. What do I know? I'm just a sign. <laughs> okay. Cap versus Thornton Hall. Oof. Um, I still. I say cap. Really? Because I yeah. say Ghost Thornton Hall. I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like you go on such a roller coaster and, and you can, like, you can, you can really, you, you can take it a bunch of different ways, too. Yeah. Like, in the ending, in how you react to people based on. I just feel like... <laughs> Captain Curse just really, it really gets me. <laughs> this is sister versus sister. Uh, it is. Sister games. trauma versus sister trauma. <laughs> oh, I uh, get it. Because I, I'm the one where the younger sister died. <laughs> and you're the one where the older sister Because it hurts more the other way around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because Thornton Hall, the whole bit about, you know, I got older than my sister and I'm older now yeah. today. I'm like, Ugh. don't do this for to that. Me. <laughs> I came here to play a sweet Nancy Drew game. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is. Um, I mean, fine. We can go with Captive Curse. Yeah. I just, they <laughs> They don't find who killed Renata's sister. Yeah, but she's able to like actually let it go, and it it she has just some realized that it was it. some horrible bad people who who. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. We can do Thornton Hall. <laughs> I hate it. <sighs> they just killed her sister. Like out in the out in the woods, it's horrible. Just these horrible fucking proto Nazis. Just not proto Nazis, but yeah, yeah. Just just anyway. plain Nazis. Um. So, message in a haunted mansion versus final scene. I say final scene. That's my immediate um, like. Yes. Thought. Absolutely. Again, it, it's more well thought out. That's that's really what it comes down to more than yeah. anything. Uh, Saw versus DDI. Saw, of course. Yeah, yeah, because we couldn't even really pinpoint the <laughs> Danger on Deception Island one. Yeah. Okay. Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon versus Ghost to Thornton Hall. Um, Ghost to Thornton. No. Fuck. Hmm. Yeah. They're they're equally uh in depth. It, it, like right right down to, you know, having to search through uh, graveyards and 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 fucking uh you know, I'm act- I'm going to lean towards uh Last Train of Blue Moon Canyon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Finn versus Saw. Ooh, we. Uh, shit. Yeah. Shit. I'm not sure. I want to say Shadow at the Water's Edge. Yeah. Yeah. Although, ugh. like, I feel like at least in the in the uh, final scene one, like, we get a payoff. There's mm-hmm. there's no, like, at least, yes, we bring a family back together in, um, um, 
Shadow at the Water's Edge, but there's no, re- like, actual resolution for... I mean... I mean, I guess that you're not gonna. She, it just, it's, it's what happened. I, I just think it's better. Yeah. It's more fleshed out. Yeah. Makes more sense. Um, so Train versus Saw. Um. I'm gonna say Shadow at the Water's Edge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's really <laughs> basically it's are you wanting to be sad or are you wanting to like get a a happy nicely tied up resolution aside from the fact that a man definitely rode around in a train for months with his wife's dead body. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So we said Shadow with Water's Edge. Yay! The link to the blank. Uh, bracket will be in the description below. Um, thank you guys so much for listening. Oh, that's not how the ending goes. <laughs> you, I mean, it could be. <laughs> thank you guys so much for listening, and uh, we'll see you later. <laughs> but uh, oh, good. send us yours on all of the things that we usually say. I'm I can't do it right now. And you can find us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. And in those places, you should just talk about how good we are, not about these specific episodes. Yeah. Um, I cannot reiterate this enough. Also, you can support us on Twitch or Patreon. Who gives a fuck which one? Do, you know, (laughs) do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Do it wherever you want. Just, you know. Have fun. If you can share the love, do it. (laughs) You know? Sorry, I'm being attacked by a kitten. (laughs) As a reminder. (laughs) Yeah. As a reminder, I'm Risa. I'm Ariana. And we're the Chromister Sisters. (laughs) And we're asking you guys to stay sleuthy. (laughs) 